Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Hell Dominance. Anthony here. Please remember to like and subscribe and also click that notification bell if you're enjoying what you've seen and if you want to see more. Coming up, lead CEO on the current state of Super League and looking back. Also Warrington have signed Greek international NRL forward and is this controversial NRL star? Heading for the south of France. So we begin today with Leeds uh, Chief Executive Gary Hedrington commenting about the current state of play in Super League and also at his own club. Talking about size structure and things like that. Um, as he admits that Super League has not progressed the way that he had hoped uh, it would following its launch in 1996. The competition was formed 25 years uh, when the sport switched to the summer period and made a time of seismic change. Yet Hetherington concedes there has never been any real plan of how Super League could grow, as professionally rugby league remains largely based around the M62 corridor. Numerous expansion clubs have fallen by the wayside, most recently high profile meltdown of Toronto Wolfpack. And Heverton said we created Super League 25 years ago. And if we had a plan, then we'd be disappointed where we were at this current time. The reality is we never had a strategic plan, so while a lot of good things have happened, certainly with stadia development, we've never actually had a plan. This is something now that we have a chance to put in place with a strategic review of the game which has to take, which is currently taking place. I actually want every club to maximise their potential and I think it's fair to say that most clubs are nowhere near doing that. One problem is we haven't got enough big clubs. From the start of Super League we've not increased the number of big clubs. Bradford have fallen by the wayside and Catalan have come to prominence but geographically the footprint of the game has not really expanded. It's absolutely the challenge we've got to go, we've got going forward. Hetherington and his co-owner Paul Gaddick have just celebrated 25 year anniversary in charge of the Trinos. Hetherington is proud of what they has been achieved under their stewardship but is not about to start boasting. Are we the biggest club in the game? I'd be more pleased if half a dozen clubs were above us and we were still trying to compete with them. I'm pleased with the growth we've experienced, but I'd like to see the entire, the whole entity grow. I'm not envious of anybody else. I'm really pleased with what has happened at Old Gayar because they're a club that you have started to realise their potential. I'd like to see more clubs do otherwise, uh, do likewise. What is Leeds Rhinos worth? I don't know. We could KPMG or Deloitte to do it in terms of land, assets and brand value, but our brand value would be worth more if the game itself was bigger. That last comment has done it for me. Nail on the head. He's happy with what leads are at at this moment in time, but are looking at the entity as a whole and rugby league. He has been one of the only expansionists uh, rugby league com um, chairman, CEOs, whatever that are still in the game. There are if the rugby league super league job would game up, everyone would be too scared about everything being in charge because he'll be looking at the bigger clubs to get bigger and more bigger sides and the push for teams such as Newcastle and York to join as their cities. The cities in the UK, big cities. We have a Salford team rather than a Manchester team. Not a slight against Salford, just the size of the two cities comparatively in that the Salford is in the Manchester postcode. It just means one thing to me. The game needs to grow. It's a hundred to hundred and odd years too late to do so. 
Or is it? You tell me. My thoughts are out there. I keep feeling that Salford and Swinton might end up merging to become Manchester. There'll always be a St. Helens on the Wigan side because they're successful and they can drag up the fan base whenever they need to. But Wakefield, Castleford, being that they're both in the Pontefract postcode. Uh, Devon, Cornwall, League One. They're in the uh, Truro, uh, Truro postcode. But they've gone for the entire of Cornwall. Midland Hurricanes instead of Coventry Bears. That's a bigger scope of area, what they're going to cover. I don't want it to go the 18 team county route because there are 18 counties in the UK. But that might be the only option to expand fully when Lancashire, Yorkshire, Cork, Cumbria, Scotland, Ireland, wherever. But That'll be highly unlikely. I want bigger teams to come in. I want the game to expand. Your guess is as good as mine knows what's going to happen next. And it could be the size we've moved down to Cornwall. That could generate a bit more uplift in Rugby League. Oh no. Tell me your thoughts in the comments. I'm just rambling at this point. Spitballing. A couple of weeks ago, Warrington had announced that uh, Cronulla Sharks forward Billy Magula Lias, um, has joined them for the 2022 season as part of Daryl Powell's new look squad. Um, the 24 year old believes that Super League will, prov provide, well, prov well, will prove to be the right up his street after securing a move to the UK. Magulis has been capped by Fran uh, by Greece three times in his career and has been playing in the NRL with the Cronulla Sharks after making 11 appearances uh, throughout this season just gone. However, he has made the decision to try his hand in Super League and believes it will, it will suit his style more than the NRL. As he says, it's a bit more robotic in the NRL and the coaches ask for that. But Daryl is a big fan of my playing style. And when we were talking about the game and how we saw us playing, naturally what I heard was appearing was appealing to me even. You've got to do the tough stuff as well, but I love getting my hands on the ball and I'd like to test the opposition and link the forwards and the backs. The ball playing forward revealed he had received interest in uh, from other clubs, notably Wakefield, but was bowled over by the efforts of Warrington to secure the deal. I thought it was a good opportunity to get over and play some football. When Warrington came in, it was hard to resist being the club they are. Over here, the opinion of Warrington is very high and they match it with some of the NRL clubs. The pathway was always open and we got in touch with CEO Cal Fitzpatrick and Daryl Powell who had just got back from their holidays. I had spoken to a few clubs, Wakefield were the other main one basically. I was waiting on answers from other clubs but Warrington were professional. I got a text to jump on the Zoom call. That happened and everything moved really quickly from there. From the time I st it started and I had my first conversation about the move to it being completed it was about three days. Magulius started his rugby league journey at Mascot Jets in the South Sydney District Junior Rugby Football League and Cronulla Carabaje RLFC. He then spent the entire of nine, uh, 2018 playing for Newton, who are a feeder club for Cronulla, and making 26 appearances during that year. Uh, he made his he played for Newton in the Intertrust Super Premiership, New South Wales, 18 to 12 Grand Final defeat to Canterbury Bankstown at the uh, Lechard Oval, 
and then in following in 2019, he made his NRL debut in round 19 uh, uh, for the Cronulla Sunderland uh, Sharks against North Queensland Cowboys, coming off the bench in a 16-14 victory at the Shark Park. The Ghoulers carried on playing for Newton during the 2019 Canterbury Cup season in New South Wales and played in a grand final victory over Wentworthville at the Western Sydney Stadium. And on September the 29th, 2019, he was named the uh, in the Canterbury Cup New South Wales Team of the Year uh, following the week of the NRL State Championship uh, final at the ANZ, Agula set up the willing union try with 5 seconds of normal try time remaining, with Newton trailing the match. He kicked over the top of the Burley Bears defence uh, for the winning try. He was also part of the Greece's 2021 World Cup, Rugby League World Cup qualifying campaign, uh, where they qualified for their first Rugby League World Cup in 20. Uh, 20. He uh, put, he scored his first try in top grade as Granola lost 12 points to 10 against Melbourne in a COVID impacted arena. And he played 11 games during the season 2021 as the club narrowly missed out on playing the finals rugby league with a 9th place finish in the table. Saw some really, really interesting news coming out of Catalan's Dragons, as it's believed um, via Rugby League Live that the uh, Dragons are on the verge of signing Premiership winner and NRL uh, star for the Benry Panthers, Tyrone May, is going to be joining the club for the 2022 season. May, who um, was dismissed by the Panthers following a social media post in the aftermath of the grand final victory of uh, South Sydney Rabbitohs in the NRL, um, is only 25 years old and it's believed that the Dragons are in, in advanced talks with the Penrith Panthers star. In 2020, May, uh, May pled guilty to four counts of recording intimate images without consent and uh, following the grand final posted their, uh, the social media post on his Instagram account. The post was resulted in his dismissal and the Panthers had no choice but to do that and it, all, it was only a month after coming off the bench in the grand final win. May has appeared in the last two NRL show pieces with the Panthers but now looks for a shock switch to the Super League with the Dragons who went to 2022 looking to avenge their Old Trafford heartache. Catalans have currently three unoccupied quota spots on and plenty of uh, gap space available. Though the bulk of that looks to be taken up by May and Mitchell Pierce, who finalised his deal to move to Perpignan in the last few days. The former international Australian forward Dylan Napper is also believed to be heavily linked with a move to the club for next season. The Catalan Dragons have never replaced Israel Falau though, which left them with free space with Dean Wahe. Uh, being brought in to replace David Mead. May's of arrival would see Steve McNamara's boast a star-studded outfit with a squad that already consists of Man of Steel Sam Tompkins, England international Tom Davis, who was one of the highest try scorers in the season, in Ware as mentioned, and Sam Cassiano, along with many others. May is capable of playing in the halves, at loose forward or centre, and has made 56 appearances for the Panthers, scoring 10 tries. He has featured 21 times during the current campaign, uh, where the Panthers ran out as grand final winners in 
what was a very, very good final. Which had some aftermath trouble for the Panthers in two different set, uh, instances. One with May, as he's been put, went in um, public's eyes. And one with the trophy. The NRL Premiership trophy. Which resulted in a $300,000 fine for the Penrith Panthers. And that's it for another video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to please like, subscribe, and share this video worldwide. And also click that notification bell for updates and not and uh, future videos that may be coming your way. Um, tell me what your thoughts are on Heffington's comments. As I mentioned, right on the nose. I agree with him totally. Not enough big teams. Something that uh, Featherstone boss and former Leeds boss uh, Brian McDermott has said previously especially as the head of Toronto um, you think Tyrone May to Catalan makes another sort of Israel for Lowe situation whether it's morally right to sign this player that's been convicted of a crime and also race international joining Super League he will be a regular forward if he plays the way that he plays and consistently for Daryl Powell and only benefit Greece for their games against England and Samoa and France in the future in the World Cup hopefully he keeps fit as well but it shows more internationals from different leagues more news on their other players playing for another international side I'll just say it quickly Germany but we'll come to that another day but in the meantime thank you so much for watching remember to share this video worldwide get us followed get us watched get us get us growing this sport that's my aim that's why I'm getting this news out to you I'd rather instead of you guys traipsing over the internet looking for it I bring you all the information that's out there but in the meantime, stay safe. Thank you for watching. All the best. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.